Hey Gox here. Don't get me started. I cannot believe this. I like <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So Market Monday. We got a lot of things to go through. Uh, major glitch? I think it's a glitch. We'll talk about this. Um, and the like mega impact this is gonna have if it's not a glitch. Um, uh, we got the, uh, we'll talk about 91s. We'll talk about the content schedule. Uh, we're gonna, I've just set to profitable, but we'll, we won't talk about that too much. Um, Subo promo and the uh, team of the week being gone and what's it's getting replaced by. So, if you look at Megatron right here, you see he is a set card, right? You make him out of a set. Um, you, you go ahead, list them up. Everything's normal, right? Uh, just regular card, okay? But if you somehow able to pull a limited, they've made them BND. Limiteds are not BND. Now, I I think this is just an air. I think this is just EA screwing up, which is something we're all accustomed to. We're all waiting for that 30 million coins in 20 minutes screw up that they did like four or five times last year. We haven't seen it really that much this year, a little bit, but we've mostly screw ups are kind of like this, so they don't really work out in our favor. So for that fact, I don't know this if this worked out for us. If this quick sold for like 3.5 million coins, this would have been fixed in 20 minutes. But I don't know. I like I, I assume it's an air. Okay, I assume this doesn't work correctly, and we're supposed to be able to auction them. Otherwise, like, why are people pulling packs for limiteds if you can't auction them? Isn't that the point? But then EA could be like, well, you're gonna pull them because they're harder to get, and you need to pull more packs for that limited that you truly want, which would just be some warped perspective on somebody who doesn't play Mutt, which is obviously the people that design Mutt. They don't play the game, and they have no clue what they're doing, and it's very sad for us that actually do. So with that said, I'm praying this goes back, um, and it, it's some sort of, like, um, a challenge from the Impractical Jokers. Like, now make them all BND, and they're just, like, giggling, watching our reaction. The group chat at EA is lighting up. And then they, then they got really angry on Twitter, and they're like, what's going on? I hate this game forever. I'm going to quit. Like, I, I, I just don't... I don't understand how this, got, this change got made, unless there's going to be some sort of, like, set for, like... The, the other way I can see this happening like is an air. Is it going to be like a BND LTD pack, maybe? Or a set, or something that we can do to get a BND LTD that is trying to implement in the game. And oh, you know how we used to have tryable, like Madden 15 era, Ultimate Legends? Like you could rent them for a couple coins and they play it for like, you know, 10 games on your team so you can try them out, which I actually would not mind whatsoever as that. Uh, but uh, I know some people don't like it. I, you know, it's kind of like FIFA does this too. Where they have a rentable or tryable um, over there, they call them heroes and icons. But we'll see. I'm praying this is a mistake because the market would be I, like I don't know how much would the market for like 91s change. How would the overall market change? Obviously, there wouldn't be those two million coin limiteds. Um, the, the the squads would be different as you wouldn't have you know god squads having every card in the game since it's impossible to pull every card in the game, especially the um playoff limit is but man, that just makes the game so much worse right getting rid of the auction of all like dude this is what 2k did and they freaking killed their game mode of uh um their their my team what we call ultimate team i really i really pray this is a mistake because that would just be um i don't know if it'd be a death blow to mutt but it would be another step on the the making the entire game bnd and, and terrible just like 2k but you know EA has no original ideas. They steal everything from 2K or FIFA, it feels like, because they just don't play the game. They have no freaking knowledge about anything. All right, we're off that rant. We're off the EA sucks rant. Let's move on to the actual market portion of this video on market. I just, I literally cannot believe they did this. It's just, it's just mind-blowing to me. Okay, so with this said, content schedule. We got two GMMs. TJ is going to say we're aware of the issue. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fixed before the 24th comes around. 25th, so Wednesday, Thursday for gmm to announce we already know the aka crews the weekly wild cards and playoff release three i do believe it is the last playoff release super bowl is generally like a two-part promo so we'll have like this weekend um it doesn't say final though which is the weird thing which obviously you know cards got upgraded 93 overall next week but it doesn't say final so maybe there'll be another set but i thought it was a three-part promo um if memory serves correctly but otherwise super bowl generally like past first week present the next week after because they need time to design whoever wins the games basically the nfl spoilers can be ravens and niners based off the super bowl logo colors you guys see that conspiracy theory i love it dude i'm here for it um so 
weekly wild cards what does that entail if you guys recall last year weekly wild cards um they weren't the greatest they were very i would say mid without a doubt um and let's uh, you know you know what let me actually show you last year's weekly wild cards they were basically like heavyweights um like theme stuff basically just like random players coming out um weekly wild cards so what's a what's a good one let's yeah so something like Oh, do we not have heavyweights last year? Where, where's the? Oh wait, do we actually have it under weekly wild cards? We did have actually have it under weekly wild cards. I was looking for the the sorting feature here. Uh, we ended up getting ninety nines there, um, late in the year, but none of them really ended up being like meta. Like weekly wild cards being a replacement for team with weak seems fitting because they the team with weak cards this year, they were a big disappointment. I think that's why there was a lot of lack of hype for them. Uh, but I think like some of these late game cards, obviously, you know, once you're getting 98 speed, 99, 98 man coverage zone, all these things, then they ended up being fine. But generally back in the, the, the time where they were, they're pushing them out versus like the current contents, like 94, 95s, there wasn't a whole lot of love for, for many of these cards. Um, I liked Highsmith cause he's a stealer. That's kind of what it is. It's like a theme team promo. The problem is they've nursed theme teams into the ground. So theme teams are kind of, it's tough because they're not tall enough to complete with the zero chill theme teams and they don't get the same boost as the playoff theme team. So it sucks that they've gone away from actual team theme teams to more uh, promo based because they can get more money they think that way. So that's kind of what I want to talk about. Limited investments, okay? So I <laughs> I had that note before the B&D change um, about a half hour ago. So I think we'll go ahead and just put on hold our LTD investment talk. Um, I was going to say, what's what's Megatron looking like? What's today's Reggie White Limited going to look like? Um, uh, uh, not great. If you pull Reggie White, let's just hope you can sell him at all. Because if you guys recall Megatron pull rate last week, it was pretty high. It was pretty good. We actually saw, if you guys, you know, hopefully you guys watching the share screens here on YouTube or on Twitch. Um, uh, Megatron got pulled out a, a really good clip out of those packs. And, you know, it was weird because, like, okay, so Team of the Week LTD and these LTDs, AKAs, pulled out a good pace. But, like, the playoff LTD, dude, that was hard. That was, like, really rare. So it does feel like the LTDs, depending on the promo, come out at different rates. And obviously packs play a little bit into it, too, um, on, on what LTDs we're going to get. There's Devin Hester. Uh, we'll try and put out packs here. Um, at, you know, shortly after, like, a, a, a couple hours. You know, we'll do them on stream, and then we'll put up a, a, a YouTube video of it. I'll cut down so you guys can see the odds uh, for those packs. See if you guys want to pull them yourself. But, wow. So, AKA, hopefully, there's the sellable thing is fixed soon. I mean, they're they're in the office, obviously, making changes. Hopefully, they, they change that flag back. Um, it's a flag on cards, I believe is what they call them, whether they're B and D or not. So, are you guys going to invest in 91s? Obviously, 91 AKAs are up a bit. 91s for Thursday. Depending on the offers we get over the next couple days, weekly wild cards could have some crazy 91 offers. They could bottom out if weekly wild cards suck during those. For 91s, for 94s, you can then purchase them, snipe them. Sniping is always a good idea um, on 91s. Try and, try and get them in the 90-ish. Let's just take a look at what 91s for AKAs are now. They were like 120 when I last looked um 110 one yeah, about 120 still so let's go ahead and take a look uh through like team of the week 91s see what these things are at the years are 96 so i don't mind if you can find 91s under 90k like snipe them obviously these things were posted up but i don't actually mind that waiting till thursday for the playoff cards because those 94s have generally been pretty good uh but uh, of course EA, EA changes things on us just randomly. And so any 94s just could be terrible. And then the 91s won't go up at all. Like, and then, you know, if you sold on hype this past week, that's when you did the best. If you sold when they went live, you'd have to make the card, then sell it uh, when it went live to, to get your profits at that point. So always do those, do that mathification between, uh, mathification between what the set inputs and outputs cost and how much profit you can get out of that. There's still you know profitable sets out there i'm not going to describe or say what they are um because people get mad at me when i ruin sets for them even though i've there's plenty of sets that i've talked about that are still profitable like days weeks after i've talked about them like team builders and stuff like that so that's it sumo promo i expect overalls to go up with the sumo promo so it might not be a bad time to start looking into grabbing um uh, some 
92s or training for mystery packs if you can find it super cheap super nice snipes over the coming week um as you prep for that uh, next overall cycle for the next promo uh, because we have been on 94s for a hot minute if we go ahead and take a look this is what i like to look at i always like to, you know if i don't remember it off the top of my head look at the legends promo and how many how many of each overall legend that we had on the weekend so we've had so each week is two of them one two three weeks of 94s already so we'll probably get one more week of 94 legends and then next week we can generally average out about three weeks per overall um see so i'll see we had 93s for one two three four five six seven eight but that was during that extended winter promo but otherwise 92s we had one two three four five six the 91s we had one two three four and so that was two weeks so two three four and now it'll be four again i'd expect us to get an overall upgrade just due to that but like i said ea changes things like crazy uh but that's kind of like uh the thought process going forward if you're going to invest in training for the mystery packs on the on the mystery pack turnover and in training and, and you know uh, a, a odds increase or the 92s for the 95s for like the potential super bowl past promo which we think would be next week so anyways that's market monday this week looking ahead at the content and looking down on the mutt team Take it easy.